yeah 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 what is up this is your boy right here and yeah we back for another edition <laughs> another episode another moment of brilliance well for the show and for active fm and of course for you the listener behind the speaker but anyway so yeah this is you know the vibes this is the vibes is your vibes and we are here to do damage control <laughs> and yeah um just going to give you the latest and the greatest just gonna go into some interesting stuff we have an interesting topic ahead and of course you've clicked on the show so you probably have an idea of what we're talking about anyway our topic is finding love on tv and you're probably wondering what is he angling at yeah So worry yourself no more because we are going to go into some hot music, you know, because this is Active FM and that's all we give you. We give you the best of the best content in everything, especially even in music. So yeah, we're going to listen to, you know, some good music. And right after this song that's about to play, you know, we're going to go into the juice of this topic. I'm going to give you the flavoring. But for now, listen to Devil's Work. And yeah, the song is by Bizzle, is Devil's Work Response. So yeah, let's go. Join her. I hear you going through some things and it's getting tough. But I see you got my word with you. It's a shame how the pain, only thing make you pick it up. And you complain when it rains just once. But I never hear thanks for that hundred days with the sun. Could have ran to me first, ran to the drink first. And now I gotta have this conversation with you when you drunk. See? Before I even start addressing it, I don't owe you any answers, so don't get used to it. But I feel like you being genuine. But the truth is, you can't handle the truth, Lucas. You but it. you kept it a buck, and I love that. If I kept it a buck back, could you take what you stepping in? Huh? I know it's other folk to feel like you. So first thing I'm going to do is let you know who you questioning. Yeah. I am the God who created the earth. I knew you start feeling yourself, so I made you from dirt. Yeah. Ain't no battery in your body, so who making it work? I made the earth perfect. It's y'all making it worse. Who put uh. the seed in the fruit? Put the fruit in the tree, and that tree in another little seed but me. Yeah. Then turn around and made you the same way after that but you was in your daddy sack and it's dad daddy sack Ugh. i am the one that put breath in your lungs and created the same mind that you question me from yeah. you were lost i'm the way i'm the pot of you the clay and now the clay got something to say okay you can never check me so check this your standard for right and wrong is me i am the checklist i am right wrong is whatever you're left with i am life you without me is what death is ah. i am the judge you answer me if i throw lightning who throws it back at me no and if all this Falls, who can stand but me? You go to the cross for you cross examine me. Yeah. You say I made mistakes, you mistaken me. You made gods out of men who were clay to me. You put lives over lives that you ain't create. Then fill away, cause all flesh the same to me. Uh. What if some of the people you naming to me wasn't really everything that you made them to be? Or worse, what if they are and I take them with me? Are you telling me it's any better place they could be? Uh. Either way, you don't know. You just gotta push through. Push cause through. why you over here saying what I should do? Somebody Somebody lost somebody last week and came at me the same way, saying I should have took you. Uh, you asked why the good die young, but the truth is none of y'all are good, not one. Not the one. only one ever been good is my son, so to answer your question, the good died once. Jesus. What if I told you to choose when your mom died? Mom died. You think you could choose when your mom died? Huh? If you put it off 20 years away, 20 years later when that day came, would you not cry? Uh, you couldn't be God, you were not I. My ways are not yours, your thoughts are not mine. You can't even deal with the pressure of your own life when you're not high try looking in the god mind Real see i love them more than you ever did more than you ever could death doesn't lessen it let my own son meet death as the evidence and i love them all rap star to the president yeah. the real question is what you living like? living like if i punish every sin would you live tonight so how you get mad when i get a mother folks same chances i give you to get it right huh? you got a son that one day you'll be a man you expect him to trust you and he don't understand or even know what you up to uh. cause he knows that you love him right so trust that I love you yeah. Thank you. 
Ladies, Neil Levine, Bill. Okay, so we are back from that awesomeness. Yes, that was Devil's Work Response by Bizzle. If you do not know, probably if you might not know this, but, you know, that Devil's Work Response was him responding to a rapper who, by the way, is a commercial rapper from the United States, a label from the United States, but he was responding to a rapper who is not a Christian rapper. Bizzle is a Christian rapper, but he was responding to someone who's commercial and this rapper was you know doing a song called devil's work and he was saying a whole lot of stuff that rapper's name is joiner lucas and you know in that song because i've heard it before um he was sort of like in a way in his way speaking to god and asking god why you know because there were some a lot of bad things that happened and people close people that died and he asked why didn't some of other people die instead of them and stuff like that and you know there was a it was quite a controversial song for me specifically as a christian i don't i don't approve of that song and i'm not promoting the artist or anything like that so don't get this twisted but yeah and you know bizzle did a response to that so yeah for that song to actually sort of make sense it would be like oh because you just hear bizzle <laughs> devil's work response but you're not actually you're like okay what is he responding to so that is just a bit background on the song fire song anyway we are going into the topic finding love on tv love is something that is within all of us something that we are all capable of giving yet still incapable of showing and uh, you're probably trying to make sense of what i said i know i'm also trying to <laughs> but anyway yes so love is something that is within each and everyone whether you know it or not and it is something that is natural like breathing yet it can only occur in response to or out of you being able or having experienced love basically before i complicate my life only out of you having experienced love can you now be able to give love back but it's something that you definitely don't need to be taught about and yes this is not the love show <laughs> but we are speaking love today and yeah so like i was saying you have to be able to you know experience love to be able to give it but also at the same time it's something that you don't necessarily need to be taught um from a young age you know you grow up learning things about life and from a baby you learn from what you see growing up with people and you learn to speak you learn how to act you basically grow up and then end up building your own person who you are you know your characteristics and stuff like that but when it comes to love you know it's just something like when you see a girl you like if you're a guy and if you're a girl when you see a guy you like and you sort of get like this butterfly effect in your stomach you know that's what some people would that's what people would actually call love and which is actually true and you have to be at a point where by for example if you maybe are seeing someone for the first time some people will call that love at first sight. Um, I 50-50 believe in that. But also, you know, to actually love someone, I believe you would have to have a friendship, relationship type of thing going on in between them. And these days, people, you know, try to find love in the weirdest places. And that is what inspired my topic for the show. Because people try to find love in the weirdest places. Like, I remember some song. I'm not promoting the song or the artist. But there's, there was an artist singing, singing about finding love in the club. And there's a song by an artist called... Yeah, it was released a couple of years back called um, New Flame. And the artist is 
Chris Brown and he featured a couple of other artists. But the song goes, who said you can't find love in the club? And I believe because of this mindset, people now look for love in the weirdest places. And like I said, that's what inspired this topic, finding love on TV. Because first of all, who finds love in the club? A club is a messed up place where you find a whole lot of people who are probably broken some people go there to drown their sorrows because you go there it's loud music um alcohol and drugs possibly definitely possible and a whole lot of wrong stuff going on there and at the same time you're going there to find love but it's just a whole lot bunch of messed up people and that is not an environment to find love because people in the world go there to sort of release or ease themselves of their pressure you know one night or one day i'm feeling bad and then you know what i'm like you know what i'm going to go that's what people in the world say i'm gonna go to a club and you know just drink myself you know till i'm happy till i can't feel the pain anymore or you know go dance till i forget about this person or this thing and so finding love in a club i wouldn't encourage that i mean people will say who said you can't find love in a club but I say the club is not the place to go. And so finding love on TV, let's get into the meat of the show, into the meat of this topic. Finding love on TV. And this has to do more with reality TV shows. And you know all these shows where they say you can find your your perfect soulmate. And we're also going to discuss, you know, to an extent, how real are these things? Because we obviously know there's a lot of showbiz and stuff that is in between these things. But I want to you know, discuss the crux of this because people go on these shows and they pull a whole lot of, you know, acts and funny things that actually go on in these shows and they do that all in the name of love, which is pretty interesting if I must say. There are people who are back at their houses watching these people on their sofas, you know, They've given their time and attention to these TV shows. And not everybody knows exactly how these things actually work. And that's, yeah, because, like, people are watching things from their screens back at home, you know, on the TV or maybe on their phone, on their laptop, you know, iPad, whatever the case may be on their Mac. People are watching these things, but not everybody knows exactly how these things function and what's going on behind the scenes. Because you get all these shows, and I'm just going to name a few. I'm not promoting them, I'm not sponsored. But you get there's these TV shows that you get. Like there was one that back in before I like I right now I don't have interest in reality TV. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really spark my in, spark my interest. But there are a few programs that can get me, but not some of these ridiculous things that people watch. You know, other stuff that are more beneficial if i can say even though reality tv is not exactly that beneficial but yeah anyway let's get back to the point so yeah a tv show that i used to like before back in the days um is are you the one which played on dstv i don't know if it still plays now Uh, and that show what would happen is basically people a whole lot of people obviously from different places and experiences come together in one house and it's like a big mansion and they have to live there together and how it works is that the goal the end goal is to find the perfect match and that perfect match wins money isn't that crazy so you in a mansion full of people i don't remember the exact number of people but there were quite a lot i mean i think you'd get at least what seven couples maybe more but yeah, so there's a bunch of couples and what they would do is that I think every week or so there would be like challenges and stuff like that. They would have to live together and, you know, try to communicate with one another. So each couple, each person finds a person to pair with and there'll be a couple for a period of time together, living in a house, eating, you know, doing whatever activities they're up to on a normal daily. And then there comes a time where they have to go into this box and there's a bunch of people that decide if they're perfect match. Now on the show, obviously you don't see people deciding they go into a box and then in that box, it's like, you know, these new tech type of thing where they go into this box looking thing and it 
tells them whether they are a match with the person they are currently with. And if they are not, well, that means they are, they are steps away from winning, you know, they are steps backwards from winning the money and, you know, getting towards the end goal. But if they can find about a specific number of, you know, perfect matches, then that brings people closer to winning the game and they can be a cash prize. And imagine, apart from this, you know, apart from the fact that there's money involved, people are going there, publicizing their lives to the whole world. And I believe for people that know these shows, we all know that there's a whole lot of weird things that go on in the background. Um, you probably won't see all of it, but you you'll see sneak peeks of some of these stuff and it's nasty things that happen in the background and the thing is people's emotions are on the line people's emotions are vulnerably laid out there and you can go there and say ah we do this for the money it's not really real but at the end of the day on a day-to-day you are in a house full of people and you're communicating and there's things that happen amongst people because you know it's not all sunshine and you know beautiful stars and all that kind of stuff when you are you know with people in one place and you guys are in a environment together in one community there's bound to be arguments there's bound to be disagreements and fights and all these type of things but at the same time you're with other people who care about you. So it's like kind of like a 50-50 thing. And so there, while you are busy, you know, in some what is supposed to be a relationship with someone, that same partner that you are with can just decide to hook up with someone else. What happens? Someone gets heartbroken. What happens to the person behind the TV? All emotions poured in. Now, <laughs> they are taking this stuff in and they're taking it seriously. And their time is being wasted. Their attention is being taken. And they're emotionally invested in it. But they're getting nothing out of it. All for the sake of TV. Finding love on TV. And then someone there behind that screen will be like, you know, one day I want to go there and try this out. Please, can, like, people are getting unrealistic expectations of love but at the same time they're getting a view of it in the most messed up way so it's not just going to find love it's like i can go into a mansion full of people do a whole lot of immoral stuff do what i want to do you know and if i win possibly make some money but if i don't well i was there you know for the views for and for the cameras because that's another aspect that i want to talk about it's actually quite interesting people are there for the cameras have you noticed the amount of people who probably you look at them and in their daily life, because of what they do, you're like, ah, they're probably just some regular, you know, folk, regular person on the road or at work or something like that. But they go to this TV show and all of a sudden they become this big star. <laughs> now, all of a sudden, everybody knows them because they know them from that show. So think about it. If To a certain aspect of this, it's good for some of these people who actually, you know, become the most likable and the most hated because those are the people that are hugely followed. And then the others that are in between are forgotten probably after these episodes if they don't come back. Because, you know, these things, you get some people that come back and return to compete, you know. But, yeah, it's it's interesting because people go there. And you get those people that are intentionally controversial, intentionally antagonist, and are there to just be on everybody's backside. Which you, Those are the people that survive the longest, actually, in these type of shows, which is quite interesting. Everybody has something against them, but they have strings that they pull to sort of get on a few people's side that makes them give doubt which keeps the people in the game, which is quite interesting. And then you have the protagonist, obviously, who is the likable people. So, yeah, all these all these TV shows and finding love on TV, 
I'm like, can we stop giving people unrealistic expectations? And for all of you dreaming to go on these reality TV shows, it's like pretty it's like pretty messed up like just stop it like you're gonna go and do a whole lot of immoral stuff in a mansion just throw your dignity out the window like that like is that the kind of life you want to live i mean that's disgusting if you ask me and you know there's this show that i've seen recently like it's also sort of reality tv but not really but it's this show called the longest date and it's also like a competition like that but this one is more competitive it's more of a competition than the other one where you hook up with you know a person and you guys become a couple and you go through challenges together we've seen a whole lot of stuff like this so it's basically nothing new i'm just giving you guys you know a look into what these shows that i'm talking about are so they do challenges together and you know at some point you can also switch but how this one works because this one has perks so what happens is that people can choose on that moment to switch couples and if it so happens that you don't have a cup someone to switch with or it so happens that you choose someone who didn't choose you they choose someone else who accepted them and you chose that person you lose out do you know what does that mean you get eliminated <laughs> so i feel like all of this is just a whole bunch of madness i tell you madness you know but yeah <laughs> I guess this is this is the life of reality TV publicity people going there for money people going there for fame because you know once you make it there once you're an antagonist or protagonist and everybody knows your name you now you know I'll put it in inverted commas a, a big shot because now everybody knows you they're like hey you that person from that show and that can also get you you know some publicity and to the right people like maybe even companies and all of a sudden you become this brand ambassador because people know you from the show and they want to use you you know to promote but i guess all this is good marketing strategy even though they're using it in the most interesting way but yeah this has been the show finding love on tv my final verdict don't find love on tv do things the right way if you're a guy walk up to that girl tell her how you feel and do th- please guys can we not be weird can we not look for the wrong things when you're looking into a woman that you're going into a relationship with it should be first that you should think she's beautiful because if you don't think that that's a problem and someone out there is probably going to be like duh of course you think she's hot no let me tell you something something that you might not have known about what guys do and the guys that know know and they'll be able to pick up what i'm saying they might not tell you but this is the truth so you find that there was a girl that someone liked or let me just use myself a girl that i like but either that girl does not notice me or does not even like me at all so what happens now there's another girl that i see and that girl is giving me attention she becomes the rebound and it's it doesn't necessarily have to she doesn't necessarily have to be better looking than the girl that i initially liked but the fact that you know i'm just like well i might as well get a girlfriend because a girl is a girl at the end of the day it's going to work for me that's how guys actually can be and i think girls also could be the same even though they are more picky a girl won't just be with any guy for the sake of going out because she's thinking of her status she's thinking of what her friends are going to say you know people around her but at the same time there's also some manipulation that goes on on both sides but yeah so you will find that someone can be like okay you know what i didn't get the girl that i like but you know what i i don't need to be single so i might as well you know just entertain this girl that i don't really like or this guy that i don't really like And so yeah please do the right things when you're going into a relationship please do actually make sure that you first you think the person is beautiful if you're a guy and if you're a girl make sure you think you believe that this guy's hot with all your mind and your heart and also obviously get to know them like friendship before you do the relationship but do the right things and ladies make sure the guy is putting a ring on it because if it's not he doesn't want anything serious with you he just wants to you know get what he can get out of that relationship even physically you know guys will try to you know engage in sexual intercourse with women and that leads to problems in the relationship 
And guess what? Before you know it, you guys are broken up. You gave him the goods. He's got what he wanted. And he doesn't feel like he needs anything more because you've already given him the prize. But if you keep the prize and for someone who actually deserves it and who earns it, then it'll be all worth it. And the person who deserves and earns it is the one who put the ring on. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. This has been it from your love coach. <laughs> Not really. But, yeah, this has been it from your boy, Gloire. I'm signing out. Sayonara.
like what you're listening to? Follow us on Twitter at Active FM, Instagram at Active FM 777, and Facebook at forward slash Active FM. Active FM Radio has never been better.